Hey everybody, it's Mike, one half of the Fort Bray couple, and today I just wanted to do a quick video to show you guys what I'm using uh, for my computer setup. Um, used to shoot, or uh, I, I still shoot real estate photography, but I'm also starting to get a little bit of video. Obviously, I have a YouTube channel now, and so just doing an upgrade from uh, the processor, the computer components I have now, uh, or for uh, what I've been using when I just strictly shot photography to what I'm using now, or what I am plan on using now that I'm getting into video. So go ahead, stay tuned, and hopefully it'll provide some good information for you guys if you guys are interested in working with video or uh, starting a vlog. If not, um, you know, if, if you guys are just curious, hey, let me know what you think. Let me know what you guys do, uh, what you guys have used, um, what you guys prefer. You know, I, it's only my second time modding my computer or my second time building it. You know, a lot of guys are Apple fans. Um, I use a Windows just because I can up, upgrade it and I don't have to buy a completely new computer uh, if something breaks or if, you know, something better comes out. So let me know what you guys use and uh, stay tuned. All right, so today, uh, pretty excited. Uh, kind of like Christmas, if you will. Um, I'm not a tech guy, but I do love tech. Uh, you know, that's a big thing. Um, I just like it. Uh, when I, when I decide I'm going to buy something, I do a lot of research on it. And, uh, today, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to up, upgrade my computer. So, um, currently I'm a real estate photographer, so I'm good at shooting pictures. Uh, I built the computer in 2017 ish, uh, time frame. And uh, at, the, at that point in time, I was looking for the fastest single core because all the research that I did said that Lightroom and Photoshop, the single core speed was, was the best. And so after pouring over research, you know, finding a computer case, finding out the components, I decided to go with the uh, uh, Intel, the, I, the i7, and I think at that point in time it was the 77,000K, which means I could overclock it which means I can get a little bit more performance out of it. And uh, you know, I've been happy with it up until this point. Um, Lightroom, if you do research on online, a lot of, uh, a lot of complaints about it. Uh, slow, freezes up, yada, yada, yada. And I experience those all the time too. However, you know, I've dealt with it because um, Adobe is the standard when it comes to photography. You, know? you don't ever say, hey, I... Uh, um, what's out there? Hey, I didn't exposure that, or I didn't on one that. No, it's always, hey, I Photoshopped that, or was that picture Photoshopped? So Adobe is the name brand. Adobe is the one that everybody knows. So I dealt with it. Uh, I dealt with, um, you know, the freeze ups, the hiccups. Every time there's an update, I hold my breath, hoping that it works. I actually delayed updating for about a year because um, I was so busy that if, if something happened, and I had to update it and then it, it froze or it basically broke my settings. I had to go back and I'd lose a day or two trying to figure it all out, put everything back. So I've stuck with that. Um, I've been happy with my computer. Like I said, I built it. Um, I got the RAM. I maxed out the RAM for my motherboard. You know, I'm a big fan of Asus, the ROG, Republic of, of uh, Gamers. Um, so I bought that after my research. You know, that was one of the, uh, a good mid-level motherboard. And then also the, the like I said, the, uh, the processor, the i77000K was top of the line at that point in time, the fastest single core. Um, the downside to me buying that though is a few months later, what I found out is uh, Intel, they updated their processor. They came out with the 87000K, which is a multi-core. Um, they had more cores than the 77K that I bought. So I think I, I overpaid for my processor, but at that point in time, I didn't know as much then as I know now. Obviously that's with anything that you go into. But I think the 77K is, or 7700K is a four core uh, processor. Um, like I said, great for photography, you know, great for Word documents, great for cruising the internet, whatever you want to, surfing the internet. <laughs> uh, great for all that stuff. But Obviously, I'm doing video now. You know, back in September, October timeframe, I decided that hey, 
let's start a vlog. You know, I've been in Fayetteville for uh, about 20 years. I've seen it change. Um, I've been in the military this whole time too, getting ready to get out. But I want to showcase the, the good parts of Fayetteville, the fun stuff to do. So getting into vlogging, you know, working with video, um, Adobe is the standard. I understand that, but there's also a subscription fee of fifty dollars every month. So I chose not to use that. I'm using PowerDirector right now is my video editor, and it's doing all right. But one of the issues I'm running into is I believe the 77K is a little outdated now with only four cores. Um, whenever I try to do 4K, it, the computer stutters, freezes. Um, you know, if I apply any edits to it, it's not like Photoshop to where I can edit it and that's it, you know. If I do an edit to a video, it takes forever to process it because instead of doing a little bit of data, now however long the video clip is, it's got to edit. It's going to apply that edit to all of it. So it just takes a little bit of time. And, you know, I've maxed out the motherboard that I have on RAM. And I really didn't know what else to do. Um, you know, I use proxies, which means I use smaller files when I edit. Uh, CyberDirector does have that, or PowerDirector by CyberLink. Um, I do that. You know, I've tried to do everything. Um, when I make the edits and then I try to play it back, it skips, it stutters. So I'm not really sure how the video looks until after I render it. Until after I basically, I make the final copy and I, and I review it. And, you know... Once again, going with the, when it comes to video editing, the cores, from my understanding, are more important when it comes to like render it, when it comes to making the video. Uh, the cores play a bigger part in it than the actual single core speed. So the 77,000 or the 7700K, you know, I think is a 4.1 gigahertz or 4.2, you know, which is pretty fast. Um, and so, once again, photo editing, perfect. Surfing the internet, it's fast. You know, the computer starts up in 10 seconds. No issues there. Uh, when I go to edit video, it's a pain in the butt. Really slow, really uh, uh, stuttery, really jarry, and all that. So, I started doing my research a couple months, a couple weeks ago because I just haven't been putting out videos. You know, I got about seven on this channel right now, seven or eight. And I haven't been putting out videos because it's just such a pain to edit them. You know, it's... It's painful <laughs> and I get frustrated and then I just stop, you know. So I started doing research a few weeks ago and everything I have is Intel. You know, Intel's always led the way. But from all my research, AMD's actually, they right now have the best consumer level processor. So my new rig for my vlogging is going to be with the Ryzen 9 3950K, all right? Uh, the base gigahertz is only 3.5, which, once again, it's slower than my 77K, 7700K. Um, that one's about 4.2. This one, 3.5 is the base. However, um, I can overclock it to 4.7. I probably won't because I'm really not that much of a power user. Um, I'm just, I basically bought this one for the cores. All right, so this has, it's 16 core, 32 thread. All right, so hopefully, from everything I've read online, all the research I've done, um, basically, this should blow the processor I have out of the water. Not only is it newer, but it has four times the cores. Like I said, the 77 core, or the 77K, has four cores, eight threads. This one has 16 cores, 32 threads. All right, so just anything from importing photos, importing videos, to exporting photos, exporting videos, this should fly. And uh, I'm pretty excited about it. You know, today I was like a kid waiting for Santa Claus, sitting right there by the front window. Um, you know, as soon as the mailman drove up at 10 o'clock this morning, I, I ran out and I met him. You know, I didn't even, I just wanted to make sure I, uh, he wasn't going to drop it or break it. I mean, I'm, I'm sure these aren't treated gently coming through the warehouses, so... But hey, ignorance is bliss. You know, to me, they treat it like gold, like it, it should, because the box said fragile, so I'm sure they took care of it. But I'm super excited. Uh, but in case you guys are wondering what computer I use, what processor for my vlog, 
It's the AMD 9, the Ryzen 9. And then, so since this is the newer processor, of course, I'm switching from Intel to AMD, so I had to get a new motherboard. All right, once again, I'm using the ROG, Republic of Gaming, ROG, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this one's the Crosshair 8 Hero. It has the Wi-Fi built in. Um, this is a good mid-level uh, motherboard. You know, there's obviously some that are cheaper. There's some that are uh, more expensive. Uh, but this is kind of right in the middle. I think right now, uh, this one was about 350. Not too bad. I'm happy with that considering the processor was about twice that because the processor just came out, I think in November. It's, it's hard to get it, find it in stock. I got it at Best Buy. Uh, I like shopping at Best Buy. It's my birthday this month, so Best Buy gave me a 10% discount, and which made the processor that much cheaper. Uh, good thing about this is it can use faster RAM. I have eight gigabytes, of, or I have uh, 32 gigabytes of RAM in, uh, 32 gigabytes of RAM in my current motherboard. For this one, this processor can use 64, and it can also be faster. So the RAM I have now is 2400 megahertz. This RAM right here is 3200 megahertz. And uh, I'm pretty sure it's megahertz. But, so, I, I like the ballistics uh, RAM by Micron. Got it on uh, Amazon. It's what I used in my last one. Uh, I think they look cool, but I've had no issues. So I've been pretty lucky with my computer build. Uh, I had no issues with uh, our Republic of Gaming motherboard, which is why I got another one, honestly. And the RAM, I've had no issues with my RAM. I stuck with what I know. Um, once again, I, I've had another computer for about three years now, no issues. And all I'm going to do is just take out the old components, the old motherboard, the old processor, the old RAM, and just put the new stuff in. Uh, I'm gonna keep my same graphics card Right now I have a 1060 in there, the GTX 1060. Um, it'll work on this motherboard too. And it's a good mid-level uh, graphics card also. Um, I'll be able to do everything I want with it. And if I end up going up to Adobe, the graphics card isn't that important from what I've read. I don't know. But the processor is more what Adobe uses. If I want to use DaVinci Resolve, that's more um, graphics card they're GPU intensive, so I'll have to get a better GPU if I decide to start using DaVinci Resolve. And then, since this, um, it doesn't come with air cooling, it doesn't come with cooling at all, and uh, AMD recommends liquid cooling. However, based on my research again, what I found is the Noctis, or how do you say it? Uh, Noctua. Noctua is the standard for when it comes to air cooling. Or this cools just as well as some of the liquid cooling that I've seen. Uh, AMD recommends, I think, a 28, uh, 28 millimeter radiator. This right here, the NHD15, uh, compares, it cools just as well, if not better, than some of those um, liquid cooling. The ones that you can buy. Now, obviously, people can custom order or custom make. They're liquid cooling. I'm not that confident. I'll just stick with air cooling. That's what I have in my current computer. But the one I have is uh, it's the 2012, whatever. It's this, it's this small air cooling. Um, I wasn't a big overclocker, so I didn't really worry about it too much. But with this processor, more power puts off more heat. So I got the heavy duty air, process, uh, air cooler. With this one though, the NHD15S, it's just a single fan. Uh, the actual standard is the NHD15, which is all the tests are done. Uh, definitely cools better. However, the uh, the radiator, the radiator uh, that comes out, it's you have to buy a shorter RAM. So with this one, the NHD15S, the radiator, they actually uh, adjusted the design so that normal size RAM will fit. Uh, it's more compatible with with motherboards and RAM. So I decided to go with the, uh, the NHD15S. 
And if I decide to upgrade it later, I could put another fan on it, another 120 millimeter fan to get the push pull, just like the NHD 15. Uh, and so there, there'll really be no difference. Um, but that right there, it's my setup. And the final thing obviously is the, the cooling gel, I guess, between, or to help the heat transfer from the processor to the air cooler. And uh, I don't really know a whole lot about it, but this is the Arctic MX4 compound. It was suggested by Amazon, obviously, when I started buying this stuff, it's what was suggested. So, why not? All right. If we had to go with it, um, I'm not going to film the build just because there's plenty of those on YouTube. I just wanted to kind of to talk about what I was using or what I was going to use uh, from here on out. Hopefully it all goes well. I'll know in a couple hours after I put it together. And if this makes it online, then you know my computer build is successful if you're watching it. If you're not watching it, then I'll also have to do an update to this video and let you know that, hey, didn't work out. I got to go back to the drawing board or figure out where I messed up. But thanks, thanks to YouTube, basically anything I want to do, I can find on YouTube. So I have no doubt uh, I'll be able to do it successfully. And hopefully later on tonight, you guys will be watching this video build was a success so yeah i just wanted to that's really about it um yeah it's just it's been a while since i did a video so just wanted to i guess give an update hopefully uh hopefully everything works out so i will talk to you guys later hey one thing i forgot to mention is down below i'll go ahead and put some links to what i've what i'm using uh you know best buy amazon wherever you want to find it but I will link to where I bought the stuff from. So if you're interested, just go ahead and click on that link and it'll take you right to that part. Um, so have a good night and hopefully you're watching this video, which means my computer bill is a success. Have a good night guys.